Hey guys, we have a hot topic to discuss with you today, and that is of course fire and fire safety, which is very important this time of year. What do you got? Yes, as Mugatu says, fire is so hot right now. So I would say this, uh, this is the perfect time of the year to do a, a family audit on your fire safety for your home and your loved ones and contingency plans. And now there's laws in place that, man that mandate this. So Cal Fire, which is the Fed, which is the state uh, fire organization for the state of California, has basically said that homeowners need to maintain their own properties. They're no longer going to be responsible for for that, and they can actually issue you a citation if your home is not in compliance. So a fire marshal can show up and say, "Hey, you need to clear all this brush in your backyard. You need to clear those dead trees." Even if it's down a hillside, it's 100 feet diameter from your home structure. And that includes a casita or a guest house, 100 feet from the backside of that guest house. So it can be a lot of surface area that you are, maintain that you are required to maintain. And so it's something to think about doing as it's getting hot this summer, you could have quite a bit of debris that you wanna stay on top of, but it's a good investment in the safety of your home. Absolutely. So we are seeing an uptick in goats being purchased, you know, because they're really good at eating brush. Actually, that's not true. But if your children are misbehaving, it's a good idea to just send them back there with a trash bag and just pick yeah. up some of those dry leaves, that sort of thing. Um, or if you have big brothers, you know, you can make them, they make them help you too. Yeah, uh. <laughs> I did most of that work growing up. But anyway, so I would say have a go bag. Make sure you've got emergency water, emergency food. Uh, make sure you've got all your important documents in a fire safe container. Uh, that's actually on my list for this year to make sure that we have that stuff in place. And all, the other thing is pets. Uh, a lot of people don't think about it, but if, if there's a major fire, sometimes it's hard to, you need a contingency plan for those animals. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot to do when it comes to fire safety, so if you can just pick one thing and try to do that one thing after listening to this today, that'll be a win, and that might cascade you into doing more of these things to be prepared uh, in case we have fires. Thanks everybody, we'll talk to you on the next one.